Hey guys, my name is Nicole and welcome back to God's Also Abroad. Okay, so in the past two videos, we have been journeying um, on our journey to our dreams, okay? So if you've missed those videos, go ahead, check them out. I'm going to link the playlist up here. But today we're talking about gratitude and specifically gratitude when we are in going through our journey as well as when we reach the destination. Let's talk about Joseph, right? He inspires me. But I'm also kind of daunted by the thought of waiting for something for so many years, which is what Joseph did. So if you read the story of Joseph, he basically had a dream and then he had to wait 22 years until his dream was fulfilled. Of those 22 years, he spent 13 years as a slave. For me, Joseph exemplifies the phrase attitude of gratitude because that is what he had. And I truly believe that even as he was going through all of those moments, I don't think he was perfect and that he didn't feel sad or he didn't feel disappointed, but that's not the point, right? Because something got him through. Something had to propel him forward to know that one day he had a dream and one day God was gonna fulfill the dream. And in between, so from point A to point B, there had to be something that was happening in his heart, something that kept him going, something that, you know, prevented him from giving up and just dying in prison like he kept going he kept moving forward he kept trusting God even after he had disappointment after disappointment he still persevered he still pushed through and then he finally after 22 years he got to where God fulfilled the promise to him and in that time frame there's a lot that happened right so he had to be obedient to God um, we have seen this in his story that he was obedient to God, that he was faithful to God, that he was still full of faith in the God that had gave him that promise. What I wanted to draw our attention to in his story is found in Genesis 41 verse 50 to 57. So now let's read on the other side. So once he actually gets his dream, what does he do? And it says, before the years of famine came, two sons were born to Joseph by Asenath, daughter of Potiphar, priest of On. Joseph named his firstborn Manasseh, and it meant God has made me forget all my trouble and all my father's household. The second son he named Ephraim, and it means because God has made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. When his sons were born, and now this is on the other side of the promise, right? He's gotten to his destination and then he has these kids. He chooses to name them something such that every single time he says the name, he is reminded of what God has done. I mean, what an amazing picture of gratitude, right? To be able to remind yourself consistently of what God has done for you. And I think often when we get to the point of achieving a dream or getting to the destination or getting the thing that God has given us, we can sometimes forget to be grateful in those moments, to be in the moment, to sit and ruminate in that moment with God in the gratitude that you have for what God has done and then live in that gratitude. Every single thing that God has done for us, we need to collect these, right? These, these little portions, these little treasures. I'm gonna link an article below that I found really beautiful on the attitude of gratitude. And this pastor says that you should collect these little treasures. They should be these little um, things that you're collecting and they're so beautiful, they're so precious, they're so valuable because they are little treasures that are telling you of the goodness of God. They're little treasures that show you, I'm grateful for what God did here. I'm grateful for when he healed me. I'm grateful for when he answered this prayer. I'm grateful for when this person got salvation. I'm grateful for when he gave me this job or my husband or my child or um, that job that I wanted or the studies that I wanted, the, that I got into the program that I was, I was praying to God to get into. I am grateful that I achieved this milestone in my career. I'm so grateful that God has opened this door at this university for me. I'm grateful for this mock that I got. I'm grateful that I passed my exam or I'm grateful that I'm now on the dean's list. Like whatever the things are, there's so many things. I'm grateful that I'm alive, that I'm breathing right now. I'm grateful that I have the use of my body and my faculties right now. Even if I am uh, even if there's something I'm struggling for in my health, I'm grateful that I'm alive, that I can breathe. I'm grateful for the country I live in, for the food I get to eat, for the job that I have. I'm grateful for the family that I have. Even if they may not be the best in the world, 
I'm grateful for the people that God has put in my life. I'm grateful for my church, for my friends. I'm grateful for community. I'm grateful for, you know, the internet that I get to watch this video right now, my phone. There are so many things, so many beautiful treasures that we can gather up and keep in our vault. And those treasures are what help us have an attitude of gratitude because as you're going down the journey, there will be something that comes up and the enemy will tell us that God is not faithful, that that is not going to happen for us, that we need to give up because, hey, you've been doing the same thing over and over and nothing's happening. Hey, that door is still closed. Hey, these doors are closing around you. What's going on? You're on this journey. But what we do is we pull out our treasure chest. We pull out all of these things that God has done for us that then it reminds us of the goodness of God. It reminds us that we will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. It reminds us that God is faithful, that he has done things not just for us, but we also go into the amazing treasure chest that we have in the word of God. God has been faithful to, to many others in the Bible who he made promises to, he fulfilled a promise. And we see them going to God to give him thanks. We see them living with a thankful spirit and a thankful attitude. You know, there's Miriam, Hannah, David, Solomon, Elizabeth, Mary, Jesus, Paul, and then we see, for example, with the lepers, there were 10 lepers that came to Jesus and wanted to be healed. And Jesus healed all of them. But only one leper went back and thanked him for what he did. And so as we are on this journey, let us not forget how important it is to live in gratitude and to be grateful for everything God has done before we just suddenly jump onto the next thing that we want to do. And trust me, I am speaking to myself just as much as you because I have had that recently where I honestly just remember having that thought of like, oh my gosh, did I actually, like, I, I, I remember thanking God and I know I was thankful and I remember the moment that I was grateful, but within like a week and a half, I had already switched to the next thing and to praying for the next thing and going after the next thing. But I remember thinking like, God, I... I actually need to spend more time being grateful to you for all of the things that I have. I need to spend time with you being grateful for what I have because as soon as I take my eyes off what God has already done, the things he's already placed in my life, the multiple treasure chests, the chests that I have of all of these treasures, if I'm not collecting them and making sure that I'm consistently reminding myself of them, then I'm so easily distracted. I'm so easily distracted by the enemy. I'm so easily distracted by what other people get or what other people do. I'm so easily distracted by the blessings that I see that others may have versus what I have in my own life. I'm distracted by the path that other people are on versus me being on my journey going towards my own goal and not looking at other people and their journey but thinking god wait a minute you've done all of this for me before i am grateful for every single thing you've done before and i am trusting you for everything that you're going to do as i go to this next goal of mine or as i'm on my journey towards this destination because you are faithful i know you're faithful and i am trusting you to be faithful to me throughout this. And I live in that attitude of gratitude. I wake up every day and thank God for all the blessings that I do have. And I thank God for everything that I'm trusting him to do as well. Not only are you supposed to prioritize being joyous and thankful to God that he, God, thank you for my child. Thank you that I finally have this child. Thank you that as I raise this child, I'm gonna remember that this was a blessing from you, that even in the moments when you know they're screaming and driving me crazy, I'm gonna remember that this was something I prayed for, I yearned for, I trusted you for, and you came through. And I'm gonna live in that gratitude that I get to have these kids and raise them and steward their lives for you. And it's the same thing if you get a job, you know, living in the gratitude in the moment that I prayed for this job for so many years and now I have this job and even if, if I'm stressed, even if there's something hectic happening with my colleagues or my manager is telling me something that I'm not happy with or I'm having you know friction, if there's friction and tension, I'm going to remember 
that I actually prayed for this for so many years and I am grateful that you gave this to me and I'm going to remember how badly I wanted this and then that you actually, you gifted this to me, you brought this to me, you fulfilled this promise and how do I live when I'm in the promise that you gave me before? My previous promise, I'm going to live with gratitude. And as I now trust you for maybe a different job or a new thing in my life, I'm going to live with gratitude until I get there. And when I'm there, I'm going to live with gratitude. And so you see this beautiful flow of gratitude and an attitude of gratitude that goes through the entire journey process. So from your point A to your point B and every single point in between until the very end is where gratitude ends. And even then when we're in heaven, we're going to have gratitude. So it's never going away and so I encourage you to embrace living with an attitude of gratitude because it does so many things. It also brings us joy. When we are grateful to our Heavenly Father for what He has done for us, we can wake up every day and be joyful despite what is happening us around us. And this is something I've also spoken about in another video of mine. Please go ahead and watch my video on joy um, despite your circumstances. Whatever journey you are on, wherever you're thinking that you want God to take you, whatever your long-term goals or your short-term goals, it doesn't matter. Collect the little treasures that you have in your life that you can put into your treasure chest to keep with you so that you can always remind yourself about how grateful you are and what an amazing God you serve. What, did, what do those treasures show you? You know, what did they show you about God, your Father, who is faithful to you, who is with you, who has done many things in your life and multiple things in your life and made promises to you? And what, what is that treasure showing you about your Father? How does that draw you closer to Him? You know, keep that chest close to you so you can dig it up and use it in every single step of your journey as you're going forward. And I also really like what the blog said. If you're thankful, you will be joyful. And then once you're joyful, you will serve one another in love. If I think about those that I really um, stand out to me as loving and kind and selfless, they have a joy about them that only comes from the Lord. And it is a beautiful spirit that is just so contagious and it's peaceful and it's something you want to just bask in. And truly their lives are not perfect. But I see that as they live their lives with this gratitude, with this thankfulness, they're able to be joyful and therefore serve the people around them. And they don't do it out of obligation. They don't do it um, you know, out of resentment. It's actually done out of love. This is the last video. And what I will say is that this is a thread that goes through all of these journeys. As you go through this with gratitude, trust God that you can have even more gratitude at your destination. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let's pray. Lord, um, we just pray today that you will help us to have grateful hearts, that you will help us to remember, Lord, all the things that you have done for us, through us, in us. We pray that you will help us to gather the treasures, Father, of everything you've done, everything you've helped us overcome and you've built in our lives and brought us through, God. Help us to remember these things in the times when times are tough or when there are obstacles or challenges in this journey that we're going on, whether it is a short-term goal, a long-term goal, whether it's just life generally, Father. Help us to always have an attitude of gratitude, God. Help us to live in the joy that only comes from you that we are not walking this journey on our own god that we're not walking in our own ways but that we walk with you we're obedient to you god that we trust you every step of our journey thank you so much for everything that you've done and that you continue to do in each of our lives thank you lord for your faithfulness thank you for who you are and thank you god and we honor you we praise you and we glorify you in the precious name of jesus so that is it guys, leave me a comment below, tell me if you are grateful for anything right now, I hope you are, and um, yeah, tell me what it is and what videos would you like to see next, is there any topic that you want to cover, are you struggling with something, if you're living abroad, tell me if you're struggling with something below, I would definitely love to know, and if I can help you, I definitely will do that. Um, so thank you for watching. If you like the videos, remember to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Share it with somebody else who you think may benefit from it. Um, and remember, I love you so much and I will see you in the